Hey guys, this is a fun one. We have a box, it's 12 by 12 by 30. There's an ant chilling in the middle right here, one inch from the bottom of the box, and some honey located in the middle here, one inch from the top. What is the shortest route that this ant can take to get to that honey? An initial attempt would be this route right here. It makes most sense to directly go here, here, and then up here. So to find the length of this green path, we're gonna add the one inch here to the 30 inches here, plus the 11 inches here, and that's equal to 42 inches. So is this the shortest route? Can you think of a shorter route? Well, there is a shorter route. This is the shortest route right here. The ant kicks over here, goes this way, goes up here, across like this. And this is equal to 40 inches. If you wanna to try to figure out how this 40 inches is found, pause it right now, because I'm gonna show the answer in three, two, one. To visualize this, let's break out the box like this. This has a special name in geometry, it's called a net. And now looking at it this way, what is the shortest distance from the ant to the honey? Well, it's gonna be this green line right here. And this green line is the same thing as this green line right here right here on the box. To figure out the length of this green line, we can complete the right triangle and figure out the lengths of each of the legs of the right triangle. So the ant has to travel one to get here, plus 30 across all this, plus one, which makes this whole side length 32. And then once the ant is here, to travel up here would be half of the 12, so it'll be six, then a whole 12, plus another half 12. And this all adds up to 24. And now we can do Pythagorean theorem. 24 squared plus 32 squared is equal to c squared. That gives us these numbers here, which then gives us 1600 equals c squared. After we square root both sides, we get 40 for c, or the last side length. And 40 inches is the shortest distance the ant can travel to get to the honey. How exciting.